This video was made possible by the EA Creator Network. Hello everyone, welcome back to Simproofed and welcome to the hidden objects and debug objects in the upcoming gameplay pack called My Wedding Stories for The Sims 4. This is not a final version of my pre-release version of this gameplay pack, whatever. But yeah, so objects may change, but um, this is basically a review of all the hidden objects that we have when you get this pack. I think this is more for experienced builders. Basically, what we will find probably are like some trees and like some collectibles. I've heard there are like bottles that you can find stuff like that usually these reviews take a long time so again i want to remind you we are on youtube you can fast forward and everything like that and also get some snacks get something to drink i don't know do some idle work uh, while doing this this may take a long time but yeah i try to go through all the objects that we find here and that are kind of new and since this is for experience builders, um, yeah, you have to unlock them with bb.showhiddenobjects and then uh, bb show live edit objects. Yeah, that's basically what I already put in. Um, and yeah, with these cheats, you get more objects that are not in the build by catalog. If you want to watch the stuff from the build by catalog, I've already have a separate video for this and I will post that also in the comments down below if you want to find this. But yeah, without further ado, let's get started. Let's look at the stuff, you know, let's see what's all about. All right, so we start with debug something. This is uh, not there. Is this there? So these two stones are see-through. I don't see any stones. It says, are they flying or maybe they are under? Oh, hold on. Maybe they are pushed down. No. All right. So we have two objects that are, you know, not there. Um, that happens with some debug objects because they are placed in a world and maybe they're way up there, I don't know, in the sky or something like that. But yeah, here is my tree already that you can see here. And I actually like it. Of course, as all debug objects, it's not as detailed, but I like it. No swatches here. Sometimes these... Ooh, hello. All right, these are different trees. Okay, what's that? It's You can place it on the wall, though. I have like a nice wall decoration. This kind of looks more like an olive tree. I am a little bit too thin, but yeah, nice. That's a nice tree. I have to say, okay, we have another one with lots of flowers on it. No swatch. Yeah, I mean, we have seen these. We have seen these as well in like different packs, but yeah, we have no swatch here. No swatch there. So yeah, there's a little... Um, this is more detailed though, these here. You can place them, you know, in your worlds. I actually like that one. I think we didn't have anything like that before. So that's cool. Maybe for a bicycle stand or something. Then, ooh. See, that's what I mean with flying stuff. Uh, Alright. I think this is from the big hunky tree. I don't even know where we are right now. We're on the biggest lot because I was already anticipating. So yeah, um, this could be handy for maybe a, a tree house or something because sometimes the stumps are like glitching into, you know, glitching into the houses and you can see stuff and stuff. So this could be interesting maybe for that if you make it smaller also have flying anyways i'm just gonna put it there then we have a statue it has seen things and that cannot be unseen it looks kind of alien really cool why is it there we don't know i have also no clue where in this world this is probably somewhere i don't know maybe it's a collectible yeah we know these from oh get together there are different swatches. So if you have some pack, I can't remember. I would say get together, but I'm not sure. It could also be get famous. I've definitely placed them 
in some of my builds, but can't remember which pack this originally is built by. But yeah, here are two different swatches for that, so that's nice that you have it in debug now. Then we have a plane. I think we already have planes with um, also base game. Probably one of the objects that fly around, like just as world decoration. I also expect to see the hot air balloon in here, maybe. Then we have a lighthouse. Oh, look, there it is in the background. And you can also place it on your lot now. Probably not interactable. Then we have voice. No different coloring, but yeah, if you have, I think the Solana. Oh, no, it was Brindleton Bay, I think. The Brindleton Bay pack. Which one was that? Cats and Dogs? I think you have them in debug there as well. I don't know if they're different, but yeah, you can place them now. And then also stuff I have seen, I think, with cats and dogs, pretty sure, these two things. But yeah, like some fish and lobster traps and whatnot. What is that here? That's a sign for food. Okay, more signs washed out. And... I mean, these are cute. I can already see people placing them in front of their cafes or something and like kind of move them up and have them as, you know, little decorations. Again, something that you could put on a wall, some ivy. Just gonna place that here. No swatch for that. More stuff. Ah, uh, this is the Visteria that we also have in Cottage Living in the Build and Buy debug. No, build a buy, I think. Yeah, these are, I think, almost the same objects. I'm not sure. Is it in build buy there? But anyways, I've seen them as well, so they put them in here as well, in case you don't have that pack, so it works. I will put this next to the other phallic shaped objects that you can put on the ground. All right, we have it. Oh, wait, why is that not? That is not a build by anywhere. This is actually a beautiful chair. Can we have that? It only comes in a black swatch. And Sims can probably not interact with it, right? Like that's um, the whole thing about debug. It's basically just for decorating. That's the sign you get with get to work. So now here it is in debug as well. And the table. What the hell? Just a simple plain table. I mean, why is that not? Yeah. We will see. Oh, there we go. Parasols. One is open, one is not. No swatches here. Now we go into big ass bridges and whatnot. More bridges is always nice. Why not? Keep in mind your sims cannot walk over them. They are basically just decoration. So you always have to put some sort of platform in there to hide so they can use that. I did that with a Pride and Prejudice build, for example. I used the debug ones, but then had to hide like some sort of stairs inside of it and stuff. So railings. The corner pieces of these railings. Another stone bridge. More corner pieces and piece here and piece there. Okay. Probably a corner. Yeah, this is the corner for that. Keep in mind these all cost zero simoleons, so you could use them in your starter house or something where you have a budget because these are just decoration. Not sure if they can walk through it. Some have some sort of blocking, you know, by the footprint, some don't. So that's up to testing. This is a planter, I assume. And another planter, no other. These are cool. I will put them in the corner of cool objects that I like and I think I've never seen before. So in the middle goes cool stuff. There we go. And that one, because that's new as well. All right. <clears throat> okay. Ah, another railing. Oh, this is from the, from here, I guess, from the town square thing. The railing, all right. Science me, I think have an, oh, get to work, get together, something like this. There are no new swatches here. I assume this is at the Indian shop. Yeah, some, you know, decorations for the world. But I've seen something like that in several packs already, be it debug or not. Okay, then we have a blooming aloe vera, which is cool because we only have aloe veras and now this one is blooming. It's also a rare occasion. I've 
I mean, I've lived in the south of Spain, so I've seen that a couple of times, but you know, it's rare. Kind of thing. So I like that. It's a cool addition to the aloe vera as we already have in base game and other debug. A small little car. Also, oh, there are swatches. Just wanted to complain. There's a gray one and a blue one. Okay, okay, okay. Cute. A cherry tree. Going over to the trees and I've seen this has a swatch as well in white. Cute. Then we have a huge thing. I think this is somewhere probably in the world, like in the, in the, like over here or so, in the water, maybe. Oh yeah, this is cute. You can have this as a cool entrance to some sort of cave or so. So yeah, I will just... Is there a swatch for that? But yeah, stone stuff is always nice because I know that people use lots of the stones, for example, from debug. More tree. Oh, this is small. This is... Uh, I mean, you could put that maybe inside of that. Yeah, kind of. Sort of. What is that? Like a volleyball thing? A little bit too... maybe just a fence? Yeah, it's a fence. It's a fence height. There it is! The tree that I liked so much from the trailer. For me it looks like two trees grown together and then it's like this lovers kind of, you know, intertwined. And I like that. It's, it's a magical tree for me. You know, you can use that in like a fairy build or something. I really like these huge special trees, you know. So that comes into the next to the cool objects that we haven't seen before or are kind of very useful. Another railing. So yeah, there will be lots of railings, you know. Um, this is probably next for the stairs. Yeah, if you move it up. Yeah, okay. Yeah, this is hard to use, you know, these are just road decorations. Oh, this, this is cool. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I think this is where you tuck the boats on. All right, here we go. This is a palm tree I really liked. I think it looks like a date, Dattelpalme in German. But it, does it have dates on it? Kind of looks like it. But yeah, I like this one because we have seen it throughout and I was like, ah, oh, this is actually a palm tree we don't have yet, but here we go, here we go, there it is. More parasols, one, is it called parasol in big as well in English? I'm not sure. The swatches are, it's not one object with like several swatches, they made it into different objects. I don't know, probably has some sort of, and it's, has its counterparts in, I like them. I think these are handy like for mansions, you know, poolside or beach, something like that. Um, a boat, another one. Hmm. Yeah. Maybe you can make it bigger and then use it as like a foundation for your real boat house that you want to build. Another tree. Um, I think we have this falling over tree in like several, I think it's no escape. We have them with snow on it and outdoor retreat did some debug for you know, just like that, maybe a little darker wood or something. But yeah, we have things. Ooh, this is new. <gasps> yes. Oh yeah, this is really cool. I actually want this to be a normal object so people can access this easier. Has this a name? No, you have to go by debug. Then we have its tweet sign. Well, like a... All right, no swatch here. Another street sign. Mm -hmm, mm hmm More doors. Oh yeah, probably these are from the upcoming houses. Uh, yeah, these are not functional doors. These are just decoration. Also has no swatch and a wall <laughs> fence thing. Wow. Piece of sand and it's glitchy AF. Just gonna leave it there. A really big yard. Ooh. That's sexy. You could rebuild this actually in the sims i think that part is always the hardest but then the rest is totally doable i will keep this in mind hold on let me take a screenshot <laughs> this is a cool boat so yeah 
Uh, more things. I think this is supposed to be going this here. I'm not sure. This is smaller. But yeah. No swatches, right? Yeah. Street lamp. No swatch. Ooh. And a wall of stone. Yeah, okay. I'm pretty sure that's the object behind it here. We have these, uh, you know, these kinds of wall of stones uh, quite a couple of times in the game. Unless they just get recolored for a certain world so it fits. Keep in mind this has like a weird thumbnail to find. Huge stone. Another wall. This is a little bit more mossy. Interesting. Another huge stone. Another huge stone. I think I've seen these shapes a couple of times in debug, so yeah, yeah, definitely. Just new recolors. I think these are just lighter. Could also be the lighting here. It's daytime in Tatosa, so just gonna oh this is I think a new shape. Not sure. Yeah, huge stones. Um you know, just keep in mind you can always make them smaller and then use them or something. Another wall. All right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and we have seen the... Oh, what's that? <gasps> there is... What? Look, it's the Sims and they have llamas and bunnies and a cat. And baby Sims with spears and then they hold hands and are happy. <laughs> is this new? I think I haven't seen this painting on it. This is cool. It's the making of the Sims. This is lore, guys. I, I'm personally always like, ugh, it's Sims lore is so dumb. It's just like who shagged who and has kids with someone. But there's no real lore. There's like not, you know, anything about conflict, religion or anything that makes up lore. <laughs> In my opinion. But yeah, so for the lore simmers, maybe you can have a story about this. The making of the Sims with cats, bunnies, and llamas. Yeah. Go, go, go. Let's see the best entries. All right. Then we have the chairs. I have debug on, right? This is all the debug. Oh, that's the real objects here. Just have to be very careful to not go. So the buy objects we already have. I already have a video about this. There we go. Next one are the collectible water bottles. I want to make them bigger to see if there's yeah. There's really like a little thing on it and a piece of paper. I'm gonna make them bigger. They are bottle shaped size, you know. Nice. This one even has like a little thing. Oh. They have message in a bottle pirates joke. There is a bright hello. The little genius. All right, what's that? Unrequited love, unrequited. I don't know how to pronounce it. A bold reminder. Inspiring role model. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. A threat from beyond in brown. We have a long one. Till death. Oh, oh. A lover's grudge. A wish of adventure. A cursed message. A pledge to love. I think the red ones are always about love. The white ones. Is it like by emotion again? Maybe they also trigger emotions. This is a scandalous invitation. A monolith of musings. A grim promise. Ooh. A love poem. See, it's that's beautiful. It's like they are different looking. And then we have a thousand leaves. Yeah, they are interesting for sure. Sunlit wishes and an imminent warning. So yeah, this is I think the message in a bottle collection. You know, it's like the frogs and the gemstones and I don't know the feathers and. All these collection objects so these are basically in debug as well of course kind of looks cool and i like that there are different shapes of these bottles and colors so actually you can really use them and place them kind of looks cool i don't know what that is i think this is when they um 
do stuff in the sand and like um you know do stuff in the sand what is it digging in the sand uh these are the wall dividers we already seen then we go to normal objects i would say we have already looked at in the build by okay this is built all right here we go a huge heart sculpture in different colors well two oh and then they also change oh this is cool Fota. <laughs> Fofa? Feta? Is it? I call it the Feta. It's about cheese pea frog. You have to watch. You have to do a Feta Greek family now challenge. All right, here we go with the houses. I'm just gonna go through them. I don't know if people will use them. I mean, they're quite simple. Here we can see the. But there are different swatches. So in case you want to. But yeah, all these houses are usually always in the in the debug, you know, when there are new houses. All right, let's go next one. All right, that's it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I think this is nothing where we are super, you know. Always they always come in three swatches, so that's kind of nice. Maybe for the modders, you know, if they want to mod a world, you can extract these objects and kind of maybe recolor or something. And then smaller objects. Nice. All right. Smaller houses. Sparkling juice. I think this is from toasting. So you have some champagne flutes. Yeah, this is all the food. Sweet bun. Oh, there's the cake when they bake the cake present i guess they give to each other Ooh, wait hold on the, the thumbnail looks so good it's a basket come on ah there we go it was hidden it's the flower basket from when the when the flower palace i think they call it this is cute i'm gonna put this here i like but why don't we have that in built by that would be a cute object kind of just to place all right then we have tons of cake toppers okay so these go on on the cake and your sims can, you know, choose them. Okay, I think there's always like, you know, different man and wife or like, I don't know, like different genders for the couple. Then we have that with the flowers. Then we have, oh my God, there are so many of them. I'm just going to pull them out. There, the little cow plants. Oh, they're even little vampire. Oh my little bat. Ah, so cute. Do they come? No, they don't. Then we have a big painting. Hmm, maybe it's some sort of advertisement on some of the houses here or something. I'm not sure. But yeah, you can paint this in two seconds yourself for your own house. More houses. This one has more swatches. Oh, I like that it has like this weird entrance. This is interesting. But yeah, more houses. Very big. Alright. I also gonna get rid if I can. No. There we go. Come on. Yeah. Bubble bottle. Again, blowing bubbles is a thing that they can do during the wedding now. This is a bubble wand that they hold then. I'm just gonna assume that yeah. A glitch into the but yeah I mean this is something they pull out out of their asses when they use that there's the teapots this is actually nice they don't come in the different swatches that the actual teapot ha oh and there's the thing so probably animation goes they hold these objects in their hands this debug version then have the handle and so on and these are the cups so you have these stuff I don't know if these stuff will disappear what's that is it for the cake? Yeah, it's for the cake. All right, then we have ingredients. I mean, we have seen these kinds of stuff before. The sprinkle ingredients, huge houses. Oh, this is a bridal shop. You know, your sims can click on it. It's kind of like a rabbit hole kind of thing. They can click on it. It's like a stall, a fancy stall. But yeah, here are some fancy... I think I'm gonna build my own bridal shop to be honest. Yeah. 
Um, that's the town courthouse. I don't know, like town square, townhouse. Hmm. Bougainvilliers in flat. This is nice because I think we didn't have that yet. In flat. But I mean, if you have Salva Dorada, you have Bougainvilliers anyway. Okay, this is the base of the cake when they bake. So I guess it's vanilla and then there's like chocolate. More Bougainvilliers. Very thin. Not as detailed, of course, but hey, I mean, why not? Okay, here we are. You have the other teapots as well. I'm just gonna. Oh my god, this is so pretty! I love the. Yeah, and then the cups for it fitting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. I mean, more cake toppers. So these come in different colors. I'm just gonna. There's a rose gold option, by the way, as well, and the black option. Just gonna assume all of these have tons of swatches bougainvilliers these are the exact objects that you have in the selva dorada the jungle adventure pack i'm i think yeah um then they are in built by you can place them on a the wall and create like this very bushy bougainvillier they have actually more swatches in the built by from so this only comes in the purple swatch here for the world more things to put on your Teapot and oh, there's of course a rainbow option. There's of course a, oh, they have little, oh, they are, they are so cute. You are cute. Oh, <laughs> oh, more teapots and the uh, yeah okay i mean we have all the cups and whatnot okay then we have a palm tree island that you can put on your cake and then stars i actually like that you i asked the devs if it's possible to also have the cakes you know not just for a wedding like, can i make the cake as well for like other parties because when i saw this i was like fancy 20s party um with like a huge cake and stuff like that um so yeah it's possible you can use these big ass cakes as well for other parties like your sim can do them throughout i think they're pretty pricey but I, at that point i was like yeah my sims are going to have cake all the time let them eat cake you know can't bother can't be bothered with using the kitchen and burning down my nice house please don't all right so these are the different cake toppers flowers uh did i use that one no i think not um, you know the different colors of flowers and whatnot and there's a fatter one i would say oh there's even like a orange in there i'm just gonna turn it so you can see the back of it but yeah pretty standard i guess then we have a little thing it looks exactly like the the things we have in big so you can i think we don't have these though we don't have rainbow um yeah unusual i think i've never seen something like that then we have rainbows oh the different pride flags rainbows so they have that so you don't really need you know you can have finally also be represented by the actual flags on the cake topper so it's not that much you know so i hope i get everything but i'm just gonna assume these are all the that we already have from the plight flag so that's cool is that double okay and more rainbow all right so that's cool there's another bouquet here in blue and then we have the mannequins you know um uh, different um attire you know different genders and whatnot you can have them match your outfits from your sims when they wed so maybe it's nice to have a look at them beforehand you know white tuxes for example so yeah that's cool in my opinion what's that that doesn't have any can move it up and I move it down. No, I don't know what it is. It's 
see-through. I don't know. Very hidden object. That's probably the red and monetary gift that will bring the happy couple good luck. Oh, that's how these things look like. Okay, I would have liked to look like an envelope. Oh, these are the bouquets that you can hold while the ceremony, I just assume. Oh, look how pretty. So actually you get more vases, you know, more decorational bouquets and vases for that. And they are all 85 simoleons. I don't know why you can't access them. In... Oh, these are pretty. I mean, these are kind of really cool um, build decorations, you know. When you have your final line, oh, the, the black, I mean, I mean, the, the, yeah, I will definitely do a black wedding kind of thing because I have to, like a vampire wedding, have to do that, sorry, but like, pfft. you can do your rainbow wedding, <laughs> black one. Why is there not like this bushy one in black? That would be cool. Uh, and that's it. Oh, wait, that, that's it? No waterfall? <gasps> Why? So maybe that waterfall, because I was expecting the waterfall, to be honest. Maybe this is the waterfall and I just can't see it because I'm not in live mode. So yeah, this is stuff you have to look up. Because I know from the debug objects, waterfalls are high, high in demand, you know, to place. But yeah, no waterfalls. That's it. That's everything. So I personally really, I mean, this is kind of funny too. This one. And the planters are, I think, useful. Kinda, you know, you can't really plant in them. This one is really cool for like everything, you know, medieval hermit kind of thing. The parasols, in my opinion, are really cool. I would definitely use them. Because I think they, you know, are also plain. That one, do we have that in build by? Hold on, let me look this up. I don't think we have something like that. I would Call it an armchair, so let's have a look. But I'm pretty sure I've never seen this thing before. Never seen this thing before. I want to have that in real normal build by. Alright, it's not here. Is it a chair, maybe? Because if so, I demand this model to be added as a chair, maybe through the Sims Express or something. Also, just this black. I'm okay with that. <laughs> I will mod the other swatches then. I've never seen this one. I think this looks really cool. Could fit the... Um, is it get together? Get together lounge couch? Oh my god. This one. Yeah, it fits. Maybe we have to go to get together and see. No, it didn't come with that one. Maybe it came as a chair? No. But I mean, it fits the get together pack stuff. So that should be maybe something to consider anyways. Yeah, that's basically it, guys. It's actually not that much because I, I just assumed they could probably already use so much, you know, stuff from the... From Willow Creek from base game and whatnot and uh, if it's from another pack worlds they just imported it and you know that's basically it so yeah nothing yeah the palm tree is pretty nice the hunky tree is pretty nice sad that the palm tree doesn't have oh yeah right I um, can copy that it has more swatches I just assumed there's gonna be a normal switch as well but apparently not uh this is it this is i think the shortest debug review i've ever done but i mean it's a game pack world right like <laughs> don't expect too much oh i see now this is over there ah okay this sign um yeah this is it guys i see the you using the stones and the trees maybe and some of the decorational objects like the bottles and the bouquets because they're nice vases as well. I'm actually excited if they can spoil anything. The cake toppers could be cute things that they, you know, maybe for, I don't know, like a nursery or something. You could also use that. 
like just a rainbow one or something i don't know if you want to go full gender then you have that as well this one maybe as well make it bigger mm. i have no idea if these spoil you have to look that up um and yeah this is basically the whole thing the cake toppers could be nice decoration somewhere right like and the bouquets as well cool the parasols are I want them in normal build by as well to be honest that would be sick um, and the bottles are pretty cool I can see you know which builds you know kind of alchemy I can yeah I think these are nice touches you know to have because they make maybe more sense than just an alcohol bottle anyways I think there's nothing we haven't seen before that much uh, these things are definitely my personal favorite this is pretty cool um but you know kind of special not really something you use all day but yeah no uh waterfall kind of bummed out about that i was thinking the waterfall would be included anyways that's it guys i hope this was helpful um the pack comes out i think in a week for everyone uh yeah keep in mind maybe they add something through patches or something like that um maybe the waterfall um <laughs> but that's basically it guys i hope this helped you for your decorations for your you know house decorations preparing that and everything like that so uh yeah hope this was helpful for the experienced builders out there and yeah that's basically it i have no idea what to build next and to see what we can do um have to look at it if you have any suggestions what you want to see me build with the pack let me know in the comments down below and yeah that's basically it i want to thank you so so much for watching and i will see you soon bye bye